hi guys today is going to be a haul video and it's a lot of stuff that i've gathered from the past maybe month or so um it's bath and body works from the semi-annual sale forever 21 um h m victoria's secret daily look and i think that's it so keep watching and yeah gonna get started with Bath and Body Works because that's the most stuff that I have so first I went three days in a row the first day well I don't think this is separated by days so the one of the things I got was the eucalyptus basil body cream and I also got these are the stress stress relief aroma therapies and the other one is eucalyptus tea body lotion this one's a little bit thicker and you get a little bit more in this one but they're both five dollars and they're originally thirteen dollars so that's more than half off um i got coconut lime verbena they didn't have any more of these on the floor so i had the lady go back to the back to get this because this smells heavenly like they had the tester one out there and i didn't really want to grab the tester one because everybody's hands been on that so yes i made her go well i didn't make her i asked her to go back to the back and get that because that smell was awesome and i have honolulu sun this is a deep cleansing um sun this is a deep cleansing soap too all these soaps were three dollars and they're originally 6.50 and i have another soap i need to go grab that that one's in my bathroom right now I tried to record this video last week and I tried to upload it to edit it and my I don't know my editor said the file was too big so this is my second time recording this so I'm gonna go grab my soap real quick and I'll be back this is the soap it's perfect beach day and I should have smelled the other ones too I'll go back to smell them to tell you what they smell like somebody just pulled in a parking space out there that's why I'm looking outside it kind of smells orangey to me um but this is the soap I'm using in my bathroom right now. Um, the other ones. Oh, I'm taking, I bought two of these. I'm taking one of them to school. Because I'm going to live in one of the suites now. So we have to get our own soap. I mean, I'm pretty sure we could like ask the front desk, but I'd rather have my own soap. This smells like coconut. It smells like more limey than coconut. But I love the smell of that. Like it's just, it just smells fresh um this one smells like this has a hint of coconut too i don't know there's a plant on the front of that i don't know if that plant i don't think that that's not a coconut plant i don't know what that plant is but i guess that's what it smells like mm. yeah it doesn't even have like something saying what it smells like on there or what it's supposed to smell like um, this is the other coconut lime verbena that I'm taking to school. I'm taking the uh, Honolulu and the, there's another soap that I'm taking there. I don't know where that one is. Um, I got two candles too. The candles that I got are the small candles. I was going to get the big ones, but I didn't really like the scent of those. And I don't know if it's just because they were all picked over because it's kind of towards the end of the semi-annual sale. I don't know, but they just didn't have that good smelling candles to me. Like all of it was like red velvet cupcake and... I don't know I wanted more springy summer scents rather than bakery scents so I got um sun drenched vineyard this kind of smells like grapes to me and I like that it has like a little lid on it like I know that the big ones have a little lid on it but I don't think it's screw on lids and then the like it has a sticker on the top of that yeah this was originally six I mean twelve fifty, and I got it on sale for six dollars I got another one. I was burning this one last night. So this, I was going to edit the video last night. And then I found out it didn't work. So I had to put everything back in the boxes and everything. This one smells like strawberries to me. And it's pink passion fruit. This was $12.52 and it was up on sale for $6. I like both of them a lot. I got... I'm just going to bring this back up here. I got two of these these are three dollars too it's a shower gel and it's the oehu coconut sunset shea and vitamin e shower gel it smells like oranges and coconut i have a thing for coconuts if you can't tell already but yeah 
that's really pretty and I got two of them one of them to take to school I got the body mist version in that just to carry around in my purse because I need a body mist I can carry around so that's the same thing I got a soothing foot scrub and it's walnut shell smoothing foot scrub I don't know if I said soothing or smoothing but I got a walnut shell smoothing foot scrub toe the line and it was originally $15 and I got it for six dollars I think um, I used this last night on my feet and it's pretty good I like it it made my feet really soft that's it for Bath and Body Works next um back in um I don't know if you guys have heard of Pure Romance before but when I got in school I never heard of them before I got in college and then um, a couple of my sisters started having Pure Romance parties and one of the things that they have at the parties is coochie it sounds really dirty but it's not I mean they have dirty stuff but I mean not dirty if you're into that but they have coochie and it's a shaving cream and I got the sweet fantasy sweet vanilla and pineapple sorbet and it's a conditioning shaving cream you can use it um, for a conditioner for your hair too and seriously like everybody needs to get this um, shaving cream it's beautiful like this is the most moisturizing it like it lasts for a long time the uh, it makes your legs uh, smooth for a long time and I just love this I use this twice already and the packaging is like adorable like it's dots and gold I love gold for one and I don't know it's just really pretty and it's girly but it's called coochie and yeah and I love the smell of it too I get, yeah it smells like pineapple and vanilla but I love this. I love this. I will be repurchasing that when I um when that runs out too. And next, let's do daily look. I was looking for um minimal strap heels, the one that just go across the toe and the other one that goes across the ankle. I've been looking for heels like that for the longest time. I just need some minimal heels. And I found some at Daily Look. I was looking at like Forever 21 and Just Fab. Just Fab had some for a little bit, but I kid you not, as soon as they um, got them, they ran out of every size that were in the black and nude. And it looks like this. And this is exactly what I was looking for. And it's like, it's comfortable and it's not too high of a hill. It's probably like three, three, four inches. And it's cushiony right here, so that makes it even extra comfortable. And I got an eight and a half. I thought I was going to be a nine in this. But then I read the reviews or not the reviews, but the comments on I guess the reviews and um, one girl said to size down. And I'm glad I did because I still have a lot of room in the eight and a half. And I got this in black too. I'm trying to keep my boxes for my shoes more because me and my dad are about to move. And I don't know. I just want to be able to just keep my shoes in their boxes of course I don't I have a lot of shoes now and I don't have all the boxes for them so I'm gonna have to like probably start over on my shoes soon but here are the black ones and they're just fabulous like I can wear them with anything I want to be the type of girl that wears heels with jeans but I'm not there yet and I don't know when I'm gonna get there because heels make my feet hurt like no other so that was from daily look oh they were $35 each I don't think that's bad for a heel especially if you're going to be wearing that for a lot or wearing that with a lot of stuff and wearing it for a long time and both of them are eight and a half next is going to be um New York and Company I got a belt from them it was originally $20 and it was on sale for $11 I believe and it's just a cheetah print belt it's very sturdy and it has a gold clasp I guess you can call that right there and it's just cheetah print and I need some more belts because I get a I got a lot of my belts from forever 21 a couple of months ago but now they're starting to tear up so I want to get more sturdy belts even if I have to pay more for them just so they'll last longer so I really do like this belt and then I went to H&M I got I got these gray flats the tag is off of everything because I recorded this haul earlier and I hung everything up and everything and I have to start all over but this is the gray flats that I got. They were $13, I believe. They're a size, I don't know what size is it. Uh, it says 40 in there. So I don't know if that's like from another country or I don't know. Oh, it's in, over here. It's eight and a half. The only thing about these is when you put your foot in it, this part kind of spreads out. 
and I don't know if that happens with everybody or just me but I don't really like that but I needed some gray flats and I want I was gonna get the black loafers too which I'll probably go back and get anyways but I got these flats I also got this necklace it's a uh, silver I need some more silver jewelry so this one is like it's chains and then it's smaller connected little chains like I don't know if that makes sense it was ten dollars oh it's backwards okay it's it was ten dollars um, a lot of their jewelry when I went was on sale but this wasn't and I really wanted this one so I got it anyways but yep I really like that and it looks not fancy well it looks fancy it looks like it could be fancy I don't know it looks sophisticated to me like sophisticated with an edge I guess and then I got this beautiful navy dress it's ribbed in the center of it and then the outer part is like a thick kind of material but it has a v-neck or not a v-neck it's cut out in a v at the very top of it so there's that v and then it goes right below your knees and it's like shaped to form like it's shaped to fit your curves like it already has the curves in it kind of I don't know if you can see that edge and like that's the hip area like it's I don't know but it has a gold zipper on it and it was $36 I believe and um, when I bought it it had deodorant stains in it so they gave me a discount on it and I got five dollars off I think and I washed it and the deodorant stains did come out so I'm happy about that because since they gave me a discount on it I wouldn't have been able to take it back if the deodorant stains wouldn't have came out so I'm glad that it, that they came out because otherwise I just would have been stuck but I really love that dress I also got um okay I was going to get well I bought um, a black skirt it was kind of like a faux leather snakeskin skirt and it was uh, meant to be kind of formal and it was on sale for $10 so I got it I didn't think I needed to try it on because it looked like it was my size I got home and it did not go above my thighs so I had to take it back I took it back the same day and in place of it I got this dress this is kind of like not a scoop neck but it's like a scooped V neck I don't know if that makes sense but it's like the shape of a V but it's not really a perfect V but um it's this yellow kind of sundressy dress it has flowers on it it has blue navy blue teal purple gray it's very colorful and I want to wear the nude heels with this so there's this dress it kind of flares out at the bottom of it and the waist is cinched I want to put a nude belt with it just to accentuate the waist cinch or the waist yeah the cinch waist okay yeah the cinch waist it's um racer back in the back and this was ten dollars as well so I really do like that dress next I went to that was all of H&M stuff and then I went to forever 21 I got this pink dress and it has cut out around the neck the chest neck area and up on the shoulders and then on the back it has cutouts as well it's kind of like pink clouds to me like maybe it's not clouds it's like maybe flowers but sorry there was like a string or something in it it flares out at the bottom of it it's kind of like skater like at the bottom and then it has a zipper in the back this dress was $27.80, I believe. And it, it's like, I love it. It's figure flattering. And sometimes I question Forever 21's material sometimes. Like I was going to buy the skirt for $7.80 on there and it's supposed to be a pencil skirt. And I got in the store and I saw it and I touched it and it was like just cotton. Like it was just cheap cotton. It's like, well, I'm glad I felt that before I ordered it online and then I got it and I would have been mad. But this is a really good material, especially for being at Forever 21. So I think it's tough to get a good material at Forever 21. You have to pay a bigger price. So this was $30 basically. And I think it has a, yeah, it has a slip in it too. So that's good. Next, I went to, well, my mom. My mom went to Victoria, well, Pink. She got me like a Mizzou Spirit jersey for, um, the girls that don't or the boys the girls or boys that don't know what a spirit jersey is it's kind of like an oversized um v-neck or not v-neck it's an oversized long sleeve shirt and it's thicker than a long sleeve shirt and one side is rolled up and the other side is just long sleeve i'll probably wear it as long sleeves because that's how i like my spirit jerseys 
and it says Mizzou on the front right there and on the back it says Missouri love pink and it has stripes on the sleeves right here and originally it was $54 my mom said she got it on sale though so I think she got it on sale for $30 maybe and yeah that's a size large spirit jerseys do run big because they're meant to fit oversized like I'm in a sorority and the spirit jersey that I got isn't a size medium and it's still pretty loose on me so it just depends on how big you want it to be I got this from Charlotte Russe this was $21.99 it has like silver studs on the shoulders and on the sleeves it's kind of a cream color it's sheer I'm gonna have to wear a tank top under it and that's that and it also has the studs on the bottom of the shirt as well as you can probably tell I'm trying to get more dress up stuff I want to um since I'm in a sorority we have to dress up for our meetings and it's, our meetings are called chapter and um I need to get more chapter clothes because last year I didn't really have any. I wasn't a kind of a dress up girl before I got to college and now I'm trying to be more, I'm trying to change my style a little bit. I got this from Arden, Arden B and it's a peplum blue top. Oh, my sorority colors are um, azure, blue, and white. So... I thought this would be perfect to wear to chapter one day to represent our colors and this was um I don't see the original prices I crossed out or whatever it was originally $34 and then it was on sale for $26.99 and then it was 70% off of that or something some kind of percent off of that and I, I got it for like $10 but I really like this and it's structured and it's I don't know I love that and I think that's it Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys for watching. Oh, um, I blow dried my hair this past weekend. That's why it's so fluffy and everything. And I know like my afro is kind of like not a perfect circle. I couldn't get it to be a perfect circle. But um, I did manage to get it in a bun. And I put a uh, Marley hair over the bun. So if you guys want to see a tutorial on how I get my TWA into a high top nut top knot bun like this video and let me know in the comments down below and yeah subscribe thank you guys for watching bye